Discover the best of China with China Connect. From insider tips to must-see destinations, we'll guide you through living, studying, traveling, and working in this fascinating country. Let's get started. Today, we'll dive into the world of the Great Wall of China, offering you insider tips, humorous anecdotes, and advice for planning your unforgettable journey along this iconic landmark. So, lace up your hiking boots, grab your camera, and let's get started. Timing is everything, and that is especially true when planning a visit to the Great Wall. So, when is the best time to go? Drumroll please. April, May, September, and October. During these months, the weather is generally pleasant, and you'll avoid the sweltering summer heat and the freezing winter cold. Now, if you're a fan of the phrase, go big or go home, you might be tempted to visit the Great Wall during China's famous Golden Week in October. But be warned, this is when the wall is at its most crowded. If you're looking to avoid the tourist hordes and enjoy a more serene experience, it's best to dodge this week like a ninja, the Great Wall spans over 21,000 kilometers, and choosing which section to visit can be more overwhelming than trying to pick a flavor at an ice cream shop. To help you make an informed decision, let's break it down into the popular sections and the lesser known, off the beaten path sections, popular sections, badling, if you want to feel like a celebrity walking the red carpet, this is the section for you. Beidling is the most visited and restored section of the Great Wall and is easily accessible from Beijing. It offers stunning views, but be prepared to share the spotlight with plenty of other tourists, Mushianyu, for those who prefer a slightly less crowded experience but still want the convenience of a well-maintained section, Mushianyu is a great choice. Located 70 kilometers from Beijing, this section offers cable cars, toboggan rides, and fewer tourists than Beidling, Jinchenling. If you're the adventurous type who likes to combine history with a bit of a workout, Jinchenling is your match made in heaven. This partially restored section is known for its breathtaking scenery and is perfect for avid hikers, off the beaten path sections, Gubiku, this wild and unrestored section is not for the faint-hearted. Offering a more authentic and rugged experience, Gubiku is a hiker's paradise, complete with crumbling watchtowers and steep climbs. Just remember to watch your step and take plenty of water, Huanghuiqing, fancy a lakeside hike? Huanghuiqing offers a unique experience as it's the only section of the Great Wall partially submerged in a lake. It's a perfect spot for a picnic and a swim, but don't forget your swimsuit, Jinko. Known as the Wild Wall, Jinko is a photographer's dream. This unrestored section is famous for its steep and perilous terrain, making it a challenging but rewarding hiking experience. Remember, safety first, now that you've chosen your ideal section of the Great Wall, let's discuss some essential hiking tips. Tip 1, wear comfortable and sturdy shoes, this is not the time to break in those stylish but uncomfortable boots. Opt for hiking shoes with good traction and ankle support, as the wall's terrain can be uneven and slippery. Tip 2, dress in layers. The weather can be unpredictable, so dressing in layers allows you to easily adjust to fluctuating temperatures. Tip 3, pack light. A heavy backpack can make your hike more cumbersome. Only bring essentials like water, snacks, sunscreen, a hat, and a camera. Tip 4, stay on the wall. As tempting as it might be to venture off the wall and explore, stick to the path. Not only is it safer, but it also helps preserve the wall's fragile ecosystem. Tip 5. Respect the wall. The Great Wall is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a symbol of China's history. Refrain from littering, graffiti, and damaging the wall in any way. Tip 6. Be prepared for the squat toilets. Public restrooms along the wall can be basic so pack some toilet paper and hand sanitizer, and embrace the adventure that is the squat toilet. To make your trip to the Great Wall truly memorable, consider these unique experiences, sunrise or sunset hike, watching the sun rise or set over the Great Wall is a sight to behold. Plan your hike accordingly, and don't forget your camera to capture the breathtaking colors, camping on the wall, for the ultimate Great Wall experience, why not spend a night under the stars? Some sections, like Gabiku and Jinchenling, allow camping, 
but be sure to check the regulations and obtain the necessary permits, join a guided hike, local guides offer a wealth of knowledge about the wall's history and can lead you to hidden gems that you might miss on your own. Plus, it's a great way to support the local community. Discover the local cuisine, after a day of hiking, treat yourself to some delicious local dishes. From sizzling skewers to steaming dumplings, the culinary delights of China are sure to satisfy your taste buds, the Great Wall of China is an unforgettable adventure that should be on everyone's bucket list. With a bit of planning, the right hiking gear, and an adventurous spirit, you'll be well on your way to creating memories that will last a lifetime. And remember, when in doubt, channel your inner Mulan and conquer the Great Wall like a true warrior, we hope this article has provided you with valuable information, a few laughs, and the inspiration to plan your trip to the Great Wall of China. Safe travels and happy hiking! Thanks for joining us on this journey through China. Please give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and share with your friends. Subscribe for more videos and let us know your questions or suggestions in the comments. With your help, we can share the wonders of this incredible country with the world. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.